Hello everyone, uh, thanks for coming coming back and uh, viewing some more of my videos. Um, got a, just a quick cook tonight. Um, it's a weekday night, it's Thursday. Um, been working and uh, so just something easy. I got some baked potatoes in the oven um, and I got some fresh squash, uh, kind of like a baked uh, a baked squash with some panko and stuff but um, on the blackstone we're gonna do some uh, we're gonna do some uh, <clears throat> I know you've heard of grilled romaine salad well I'm gonna do a griddled romaine salad yeah pretty cool huh uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm getting some bacon rendered off uh, for the salad. I'm going to do some of these uh, uh, out of the garden onions here, spring onions, is what they call them, the green onions. Um, so I'm going to give them some some char, and um, I got some tomatoes, and of course the romaine heart. Uh, romaine lettuce that I'm going to griddle. I'm actually going to griddle it right on this bacon grease. So I'm just going to get the bacon, get it kind of, um, get some fat rendered off just enough where I can um, put my lettuce and then I'm going to let it kind of crisp up to put on top of the lettuce. Um, I also got some, uh, they had these on sale uh, and I like them. I like doing them quick, fast. Uh, these are just T-bones. It's like a manager special. Uh, I mean, I got these both for like six bucks. Um, so uh, season these up with some uh, some meat church holy cow, some uh, some a little bit more garlic, a little bit more onion powder, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I really like the meat church holy cow for steaks. So it's a good good rub. It's also good for brisket too. My uh, <laughs> my lettuce. I thought. A lot of times you just drizzle it with some uh, canola oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, I guess you can. I thought, why not brush it with some mayonnaise, right? Who don't like mayonnaise? Well, I'm southern, so I'm pretty sure I had mayonnaise in my bottle whenever I was uh, a baby. Um, so I brushed it with some Duke's mayonnaise, of course. That is the only mayonnaise in the world, just so you, if you didn't know, it's no Miracle Whip, it's not. Uh, Hellman's, it's, uh, it's Duke's mayonnaise. Duke's. Get you some. It's, uh, it's the cat's meow. I'll get this other side. Get it ready for those uh, T bones because they're going to go really fast. Like petty fast. Alright. Bacon is nice and crispy. And so now what I'm going to do is put the romaine. I got these tomatoes too. Those will get nice and nice and sweet. And I'm going to get the T-bones. It's hot and humid out here. Man, it's like 200% humidity. Get a nice contact. Those T-bones. I mean, these things are going to go like, I don't know, a couple minutes aside. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that romaine. Well, that's gonna be good, especially all up in that bacon fat. Strip, drizzle a little bit of that on there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, those T-bones are looking mighty fine. And one little thing that I like to do with my steaks. Um, well, you're gonna think, well, he likes to do it with everything. I like to put butter. 
butter on it, a little butter bath. It uh, does pretty good stuff. Butter makes everything good. That lettuce is nice and wilted. That's going to be nice. I don't want to wilt it too much. I also uh, salt and peppered that, that romaine too. So I salt and peppered uh, the uh, onions as well. Uh, I like to try to... That thing right there was a little big. Little cherry tomatoes. All right. Pull out my thermopin. Um, you see it's registering 90 degrees out here. 91. Yeah, it's probably creep up. But you got to be kind of careful with uh, with thin steaks. So we're at 132 right there, and these things are just super accurate. Um, many people say, "What do I need to do to, to cook? Uh, you know, cook and cook well." And that's invest in one of these right here. Uh, if you don't have the coin for a thermopin, I recommend a thermopop. Um, and all their products are really great. Uh, Thermoworks does a great job. All right. I think these steaks are about 135 degrees. Um, I think they're good. A little butter bath. Onions are nice and charred. Alrighty. That's it. That's a nice. Some more of that butter. And nice quick weekday meal. Um, Complements of the Blackstone. It uh, doesn't get any easier. Doesn't get any faster, really. So. Uh, appreciate you watching this video please subscribe to my channel uh, there's a link below for my special link to buy one of these black stones there's a 36 inch model there's a 28 inch model 17 inch model uh, to fit your needs so give them a try and uh, I'm sure you'll like it uh, thanks and uh, have a great night and here's the finished shot of the griddled romaine salad you can see the, the, the lettuce is wilted uh, got some char, I got the onions on there, I got the tomatoes, I got bacon. I like doing mine with fresh ranch instead of blue cheese. I do like blue cheese, but I like ranch too. Uh, and I got some garden cucumbers in there too. So really good stuff. So I hope you, I hope you try this recipe. Um, it's going to be really good, um, I believe. Never done it before, but I think it'll be good. So um, again, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, make the recipe, comment, um, interact with me. I'll interact back. Uh, I will appreciate it. And see you next time.